here to show you a full startup, a little move, and a full shutdown of the H125B3E. This one's, uh, it's not brand new, it's got 600 hours, it's gone for 600 hour maintenance. I'm just gonna move it straight behind that truck right there. And uh, that's the job for now. So, I'm gonna show you that. Should be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna use the checklist for this. There's many things here. Um, like there's uh, things to do before. I wanna highlight one thing. So check the little lid there, that that's uh, nice and closed. Other than that, door locks, seat and pedals adjusted. Got the seat belts on. Make sure that this seat belt's fastened. Rotor brake off. Fuel shut off, or actually forward, sorry. Twist grip, that's this guy, idle. Cut off, on. Starting selector, that's this guy here, needs to be off. Now the battery went on, I did that so I could get the cockpit audio. Go VFR on that thing. And, uh, oh, uh, let's see, standby on the transponder. Set the lights today. Com1, Nav1 one, on, I'm gonna go avionics on, because we have a dual battery setup, so I can get this thing going, and the GPS on, mirror set, got the little thing here, to adjust that. Alright, now for the warning lights, check all of them, got the lights, got the lights here, and if you have the floats, make sure one and two light up, and then that, this thing, might be good to give it another go, 1,000, 2,000. That's good. Fire test gives the indication right there. Got four plus four. That's perfect. That's that. Now accumulator test and freedom of travel. That's good. Okay. Three data page, check the voltage and the indications are good and that you have enough fuel we have uh, this is centered the friction appears all right this thing is locked those are locked and slightly open so they don't stick okay check for gov it's not get your clearance and then we'll go through the starting sequence one, two, seven, five, five for the ATIS. Signet, uniform, zero, three, valid dot danger area, delta, three, five, four, Lex Dolan is active, four, thousand feet. For clearance and start up, contact tower, one, one, niner, decimal, four. Okay, so that's what I was after now, is the, uh, where to call for startup. So I just need that. I'm just gonna reposition. So I'm not gonna listen to the whole latest. When we do start, you need to get your ducks in an order. Uh, you gotta get the fuel pump on, that's here. Uh, the anti-collision is on. And then you go, this is the actual starting switch, which you just go doot, and you keep your hand on it. Now you gotta do many things at once. You gotta check that your voltage doesn't drop too much uh, that the TOT increases and stays below its limit that the N1 starts to uh, uh, rev up and that the torque is starting to uh, come active and so you gotta m manage to watch several things at once when you actually do this so now I'm gonna get my clearance Barnes Tower, hello again, and Helitrans for, for uh, requesting a startup for a reposition over to technical hangar. Double, double transmission, first Lima Bravo Alpha, wind is calm, runway 79, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uh, Lima Bravo Alpha.
Yeah, that was Heli Transport for requesting a start for a reposition from operative hangar to the technical hangar with one POB. Heli Transport 4 4, start up is approved. Start is approved, Heli Transport 4. Okay, I gotta get my startup time. And we are good to start. Fuel pump on, I like to dab those. And then I just go. Now watch here, okay? Voltage goes down, temperature goes up. The rotor spins at like 13%, that's good. Oil pressure increases. Stabilizes at five, 600, something like that. That's just perfect. Now you just keep watching this, having an eye on the outside, which you already had, uh, knowing your surroundings. It's cold outside, so it goes into the yellow. Okay, now the checklist continues. Um, if I'm gonna do it by order, I'll just uh, go fuel pump off, generator on, pitot on, check the caution warning panel, and I have the guard now, so I don't access it. Uh, accidentally bump into that thing. Now it tells me to take the avionics on. I already did that before. Now I do the run-up checks. It's out of the caution range and all the parameters looks all right. So I'm gonna do a little less friction here on the stick. That's this thing. Okay, so these are the accumulators. It tells you to go two to three times. 10% of travel. So that's about that. That light goes out. Now do this thing, the hydraulic cutoff. The light immediately comes on and let the servos immediately release their pressure. And you can feel force feedback on all axes. Now go back on and count 1000, 2000, 3 and the light went out. That's perfect. A good temperature on the engine and I am now ready to f I'm gonna get ready to go up into high RPM so now I put the checklist away because I need to be ready to actually fly and what we're gonna do is go up RPM increases at 350 360 went off that's perfect RPM stabilizes at 370678 yeah, 380, that's perfect. And do that fire test so you get the gong, the little light there. Okay, now you're ready to lift. And our helidrons for far is ready to lift for that short reposition. As requested then, I'll transfer four. Okay, start the technical flight time and uh, do a surroundings check. And here we go. Takeoff tutorial. Take it easy, that's my advice for now. Have a light grip on the cyclic stick. Move to the side. Let's move away from this guy here. Keep your five foot hover. Watch your surroundings before you turn your tail. Make sure that it's actually clear. Tail's clear on the left. You can turn around. Okay, let's park it here. And it's slippery outside. So, uh, Think about when you put it down that you actually have some friction with the ground and you can do that by checking the pedals like this. Okay, horn off and then we go. We're gonna do the shutdown procedure later. Because here comes the technical crew. He's gonna do some maintenance checks with me. What's up, Henrik? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, it's 
ska checka MKU test. MKU test? Tänkte jag. That's cool. Maintenance test, EBCO test. That's cool. Got the yellow go. Airport 90, the heel support. Awesome. Kurt, they're out. That's it. <laughs> okay. And lock the collector. I'm in bra. Kjempe. Hva det har vært? Det var alt nå. Det kommer mer. Ja. Så da skal vi bare skjøtte den. Ja. Ooh, look at that. Some maintenance required. <laughs> Short shaft? Nei, eh, mulig. Meget ja. mulig. Ja. Vi balanserer den til 600 og antatt, så det går fint. Ja. Her skjer den. Det er bra. Da blir det litt mekking. Er det siste starten, eller? Ja, det blir en til, ja. En til. Ja, en kompressor var blant annet. Ok. Ja, oh, cool. Hva er det 30 sekunder, tror du? Ja, helt omtrent. Skal vi si det? Ja. Engine. Helikopter. Off. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right guys, that was fun. That was the full startup with the checklist and everything of this uh, brand spanking new, not brand spanking, but it's got 600 hours. The H125 B3E. It's a nice helicopter, I like it. Um, was a little short on the, um, on the shutdown there because uh, the technical crew came in to, um, they were gonna do the EBCO test to make sure that was working. So got a little interrupted there. That's all right.